So as we come into the final stretch of the story for Attack on Titan, one thing that has kind of recently resurfaced for me is Ymir Fritz, and more technically, her kind of soul being split up in all nine different Titans. As of recently, we've seen another depiction of Ymir Fritz, who, if you haven't already guessed, is the founding Titan. She is the original person that supposedly made a deal with the devil to gain the power of Titans, which in some ways is entirely falsified, but we don't know if it's still legitimate or if it's kind of hearsay at this point. The reason I want to talk about this is, one, I find it extremely interesting and the theory's been around for, you know, quite a bit of time now, but how this actually interlocks with potentially Aaron Yeager's plan and motivation, because as of recently, we found out that Aaron and Zeke are kind of on the same page. Aaron knows exactly what Zeke is doing, but we don't know if Eren is 100% on board, and it's probably safe to assume that he isn't on board with Zeke entirely. The first thing that helps kind of give this a bit of justification is actually the last panel of the story that Isayama has shown to us. It's a very rough draft of two characters, an older character holding a child, saying the words, we are free. Now obviously that doesn't work with Zeke's plan and the euthanization of the Eldian race if a child is being born. Considering in Zeke's eyes, he wants to completely rid the possibility of the Eldian race reproducing. He doesn't just want to get rid of the Titan shifting ability, jumping to random Eldian children. He wants to get rid of the Eldian children completely, you know, before they even have the chance to. That comes into play with the rewriting of the Titan aspect, and which is a very new concept for us as readers. We kind of got a very small portion of it at the beginning of the story with the founding Titan. Uh, and the king actually manipulating and wiping everyone's memories, which I guess is a concept for it, but actually changing the body structure of an entire race is incredibly dangerous for multiple different reasons. You can imagine if this fell into the wrong hands on how maybe uh, you could actually open up the Eldian race and actually send it to any other race, if that was even possible, being able to change the bodily structure of Titans and kind of the whole concept of doing that with Zeke's idea is pretty far beyond that. So where does this final page and Eren's plan kind of connect? Well, to kind of understand that, we have to look at Zeke and Grisha and the other Ymir. These three characters have something very important in common. They have witnessed an unknown land, a paradise is what they call it, a very beautiful place with lights construing all through the sky, almost looking like paths. On Zeke's occasion, he witnessed a young girl who looks somewhat identical to Ymir, Fritz. What is this unknown land? I'm not entirely sure, but the word that all three of these characters have used to describe this place is freedom. This is what freedom looks like. On top of that, Zeke gave us confirmation that this is what he considered to be the paths. Now, what the paths actually are is Ymir's connection to all titans across the globe. Ymir has a somewhat spiritual connection to all of the nine titan shifters as her soul was split into all nine titan shifters right? So these are the paths that connect all the titans together from past to present to even future. Ymir is technically that path. The reason why this is so important is because one, as of recently with Zeke's encounter with Ymir Fritz, she's playing a much more prominent role. Only as of now is she playing a physical entity, at least in Zeke's occasion and his mind or aspect in witnessing her, coming into the finale of the story is a very big thing. How this situation with Freedom and Ymir Fritz and this unknown land kind of connect over to Aaron Yeager and his plan falls down to the idea that Aaron is slowly but ever so so surely, most likely, going to eat a lot more titans. He's going to obtain their abilities. And if it kind of goes to show anything, at the moment, Eren Yeager has more portions of Ymir Fritz's soul than anyone else. Now, my question to you, and this is a theory that's been going around for, you know, quite a long time now as a kind of baseless theory, what would happen if Eren Yeager ate all of the nine titan shifters? If he got every single titan shifting ability that everyone has at the moment, 
bound and connected Ymir Fritz's soul back together. What would entirely happen? I think there's a big thing that comes into play if this happens, right? This unknown land that all Titan Shifters have the possibility of entering completely absorbs Aaron Yeager and shows him a completely different perspective. This would work twice as well if Aaron is starting to lose control of himself, if he's going a little bit too insane or if he's going a little bit overboard or if he's getting a little bit too murderous, anything along those lines. This unknown land could change Aaron's perspective completely and actually bring him back to reality to a certain extent. I'd imagine harboring all nine titan shifting abilities in one body, in one mind, would be a very detrimental thing. But because we are connecting all of Ymir's soul back together, what does that give Aaron the possibility of being able to do? Now I think with the final chapter and the words we are free or freedom or anything along the lines, I think Ymir is the key to kind of everything. The reason why the Titans have been around for so long is because of her and potentially the demise of the Titans and the continuation of Titan Shifters is probably also down to Ymir as well. Zeke kind of wants to take that perspective and kind of web Weaponize it to an extent, euthanize the children, you know, make it forcefully happen that the Titan shifting ability can't jump over to the Eldian children by pure coincidence. Get rid of that completely. Whereas what if there was a more beneficial way of doing it? What if because Eren uh, actually connects all of Ymir's soul back together, she is the one to actually completely obliterate the Titan curse. The aging concept completely disappears, her soul is fully connected once again, and maybe it's in the semantics of that. The Titan curse will continue until your soul is evidently brought back together and you will be the only person to suffer from this. You can stop all of this. And the reason why this hasn't happened before is because funny enough, the only idea that hasn't really been betrayed into the story as of only recently is one titan shifter having multiple titan shifting abilities. That's only just happened as of recently and surely it's got to escalate and surely it has something to do with Ymir Fritz. If she's fully connected, I have a very very strong feeling that either one, Eren can kind of dispel the Titan curse completely, he can destroy it or disrupt it and completely get rid of it so the Titan curse maybe coherently vanishes. Maybe Ymir is somewhat resurrected to a certain extent. Maybe Eren is pulled into Ymir's unknown land and he sees the bigger and better picture. Maybe the curse is completely annihilated and the final panel we've seen is most likely Historia's child and the first child to be born that doesn't actually have have the Titan shifting ability. That would be a very significant thing that would showcase that whatever Eren and potentially Ymir has done ultimately worked, that the Titan shifting ability can no longer jump to children. Considering that is the last thing you'll ever see in this story most likely, that leaves a very impactful memory. The Titan ability is gone. These children can grow up and live lifestyles. There may be war still raging on and that will reflect back on us rather heavily and show us that whatever Eren done may be in terms of sacrifice or whatever has ultimately worked. There is a lot of ideas that wrap around that concept. A lot of semantics obviously but I believe that Ymir Fritz is definitely playing a much more vital role considering she is connected to all Titan shifters and potentially all Titans. Some of the most prominent Titan shifters in the story have actually witnessed Ymir and her quote-unquote unknown land which has been a vital piece of storytelling for a very long time that has completely been wrapped in the ideology of freedom, a place where the titan curse is non-existent, a place of happiness, a place of no war or no detriment or no aging problems, a place where you can be at peace freedom from absolutely everything. One thing's for sure is that I do not know how Eren will get to this point or this idea. If he has a vision of Ymir Fritz, if he has already been in contact with her, if he ultimately witnesses the unknown land himself, but there's a kind of a very big stipulation that is in play and that is the royal blood. Eren Jaeger does not have royal blood, but on the other hand Zeke does. So if the possibility of eating Zeke and obtaining his titan shifting ability, could he potentially gain a portion of his blood sample. 
We're going into some very fantasy kind of biological elements here that don't really make sense, but rewriting the Eldian race completely and euthanizing them is pretty far beyond that. So there must be something in play that allows Eren to actually witness Ymir using true royal blood. It's something that he does not have, unless there's like a massive reveal here that we're missing and is slowly going to get introduced into the story. But I think for the most part, just like Eren is the big key to Zeke's plan, I think Zeke is the big key to Eren's plan. And the only reason that they're going to get something or some sort of result is working with one another or destroying one another, which will finally lead them to some sort of freedom where the Titan curse no longer exists. So with that being said, that is basically it. Let me know how you guys feel about Eren and Zeke's kind of plan at the moment. Do you think Eren's got a kind of plan of his own? Do you think it has something to do with Ymir, potentially? Who knows? Uh, but I'm actually going to end the video off here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.